Matthew Kenny playing the uh, last post, a local boy, and uh, it never fails to get you. We will remember them. Garner was there ahead of O'Hare, and here's Capacelli moving up towards the halfway line, looking to release Saar, who takes it down in his chest. Level with the edge of the penalty here, right-hand side. Gray makes a run towards the near post. It's great, can't quite get there. Cleverly turns it over the bar. Cleverly coming in round the back, crept in behind Sam McCallum. Slams the floor in frustration. Couldn't keep his shot down. It remains nil-nil. Well, it's great movement. Nice, patient passing move. Andre Gray's inches away, and, and Tom just couldn't control it from his left with his left foot. First time infield to Sheaf. Fine walk on the edge of the box. He nods it down. O'Hare with the lovely little dummy. And it'll come to Biamu, who fires over the bar from the edge of the penalty area. Watford have a goal kick. Yeah, a little bit of indecision in the in the, the back three there, and who's going to attack the ball. Fortunately, it falls to Biamu and not Walker or O'Hare. I'm sure they would have hit the target. Now O'Hare for Coventry, holds off Garner, works it to his left-hand side, and Giles running at Feminier. Still Ryan Giles going on the outside of Feminier, and he's headed wide from close range. Biamu holds his head in his hands. He's inside the six-yard box, Maxim Biamu, and heads it past the near post of Ben Foster, and it remains goalless. Corner is taken short again to Semmer. Now to Cleverly once again. Cleverly whips it towards the near post. Goalkeeper parries it. That was going in from Tom Cleverly. Goalkeeper saw it late, but parried it away to safety. It's a little bit brighter from, from Tom. Good weight of pass from Semmer. There's Tyler Walker on the edge of the Watford penalty area. And Hamer releases uh, a hair in his shot over the bar. Did Foster tip that over? It's a save from Ben Foster. Denying Callum O'Hare his second goal in a week. Fine save from the Watford stopper. Now uh, Capu once again, out to the left-hand side and Semmer, first touch goes round McCallum, Semmer, Semmer into the penalty area, still going Ken Semmer, cuts it back behind Gray and he comes off Andre Gray who will claim it and Watford have the goal, Watford break the deadlock, eight minutes into the second half and it's that man again, Ken Semmer, with his fifth assist of this championship campaign, his cross hit the defender, but Andre Gray, I think, got the final touch and he grabs his first goal of the season. His first goal since last November. Watford won, Coventry City nil. Well, 100% Andre Gray, Gray will, will try and claim this. I'm sure it's hit him, yeah. A, a former striker's obviously going to give it to a current striker. But fabulous play from, initially from Capu. I love Capu when he, when he passes the ball forward and certainly when he can pass the ball like that. Ken Semmer is just... He, He's got everything to torture defenders in this division and he's done it two games on the trot now for a tap-in in, in the middle of the goal for, for Andre Gray. So, fabulous work. Coventry free kick, which uh, Gustavo Hamer will deliver. 62 minutes on the clock. Watford won Coventry nil at Vicarage Road. Hamer into the Watford penalty area, looking for Ostergaard who heads it down. Garner flicks it away from around the penalty spot, cleverly with... It's a little further away, it's headed back into the area by Hamer, and Foster is beaten to it! Hamer with a header from outside the penalty area, loops over Ben Foster, and Coventry have an equaliser. Gustavo Hamer with his second goal of the season, Watford 1, Coventry 1. Semmer trying to win it off McCallum, Hamer comes away with it, and looks to release uh, Biamu, who gets there ahead of a Kong, and here's Walker on the edge of the box, Walker with the shot, it's 2-1 Coventry! The Sky Blues have turned this round in the blink of an eye. Tyler Walker on his first league start for the Sky Blues. Fires past Ben Foster. And the visitors have turned this game on its head inside a minute. 64 on the clock. It's Watford 1, Coventry 2. Well, again, sloppy defending he's got between Trusty Kong and Cabasele. And then we said in the first half, you know, Tyler Walker's a finisher. He's had one chance, one goal. Sixth Watford corner. Garner with it from the right-hand side. Headed down it. by William McCong and Watford a level. The goals are flying in at Vicarage Road. William McCong with his first goal for the Hornets. Levels things back up at Vicarage Road. Garner with the outswinger. A Kong met it with his header. No chance for the goalkeeper. Watford two, Coventry City two. Well, there you go. A fabulous delivery from, from Garner. And with their zonal marking, you just get in between them. And if the ball's right, Kong couldn't miss from there. And you can see by his reaction, you know, he's, he'll be disappointed from, from conceding the, the, the second goal. 
Capacelli thumps the ball away. Saar flicks it on. Gray couldn't quite get there against Rose, but Saar bursts onto it and releases Andre Gray. Andre Gray into the penalty area. Great save by the goalkeeper. Gray tried to place it down to his left. Morosi with a strong left hand, grabbed hold of it. And Coventry survive. Appearance number 400 then for the Hornets. He's going to replace Andre Gray. Troy Deeney becomes just the 11th man in Hornets history to reach the 400 mark. It's his... Uh, 370th in the league, it's his 74th appearance as a substitute. He looks in great shape. Garner having to turn away out towards the left-hand side and cleverly. Semmer outside him, here's Ken Semmer. One against one against McCallum again. Gets tight to him. Semmer goes on the outside and he can beat him and he chips the cross up. Too high for Ngakia. Garner couldn't quite get there. It'll come to Saar on the edge of the penalty area again. Saar's cross. Was that blocked by O'Hare? It's a Watford penalty. It's a Watford penalty for handball by Callum O'Hare, who's going to get a yellow card for his troubles. And you know who is on the pitch on his 400th appearance. Yeah, it's a, again, fabulous work from Semma. I think Coventry could argue that they deserved the foul from Garner's challenge, but Callum O'Hare's hands are, are, are above his head in an unnatural position. It's an obvious one for the referee. And like you say, Deeney's on the pitch. Uh, the conversation conversation with him a week or two ago about who would take one well <laughs> well what do we know because it's Myla Saar having earned the penalty is going to take the penalty is Myla Saar then up against Marco Morosi in front of the rookery end 2-2 Saar a slow run up sends the keeper the wrong way and Watford are back in front Ismail Assar's third goal of the season, calmly, coolly taken into the bottom left-hand corner of the goalkeeper's net. And with seven minutes to go, the Hornets have their noses back in front. Watford three, Coventry City two. Foster clears left-footed. Referee Simon Hoper blows the full-time whistle. Watford are victorious. Second half full of goals, full of incident. Andre Gray bundling the Hornets into the lead nine minutes after half time. The Coventry then with two goals in a minute. Gustavo Hamer with a header from 25 yards, looping over Ben Foster. And then Tyler Walker capping his first league start for the Sky Blues, firing in from the edge of the box to put Coventry in front. William McCong then with his first goal in English football, heading home a James Garner corner just three minutes later. Troy Deeney then entering the field for the 400th time in Watford colours, just the 11th man to reach that landmark. But he didn't take the decisive penalty, which was earned by Ismail Assar. His cross handled by Callum O'Hare. And it was Watford's club record signing from Senegal who came up and stroked the penalty home, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. Watford back to back home wins at Vicarage Road, 3 2 on Wednesday. 3-2 on Saturday. Great entertainment this afternoon. Full time at Vicarage Road. Watford 3, Coventry City 2. Stop. Don't go anywhere. Click here for more videos.